Question number 11, Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by his statement on proposed labour law changes, quote, we are not talking dramatic changes, close the quote? Hon the Honourable Stephen Joyce on behalf of the Prime Minister. On behalf of the Prime Minister, Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Thank Fenton. you very much, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, will he rule out reintroducing a youth minimum wage rate? And if not, why does he think a wage cut wouldn't be a dramatic change for hard-working young people? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, on behalf of the Prime Minister, no decisions have been made as to what uh, the package will be at this point, and there have been no announcements, so the member will just have to wait and see. Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, will he rule out making changes to collective bargaining that would allow bargaining agents such as the HR manager or even someone from Black Power to charge workers for negotiating non-union agreements, or doesn't he think that would be a dramatic change? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I would stress that the government is looking uh, at practical incremental changes, but no decisions have been made and there have been no announcements, so the member will just have to wait and see. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he agree with his Finance Minister that having a 30% wage differential with Australia is a competitive advantage? And if so, is it his intention to re return <coughs> to past failed National Party policies, which drove down wages and productivity in New Zealand? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, um, I think the response to that has to be that the past failed policies the member refers to could only be in relation to the previous Labor government, which put the tradable sector of the New Zealand economy into recession for four years before the global financial crisis. And this government is putting in place the policy objectives to achieve faster economic growth, and we're doing so successfully, and the member will see that, and they will just have to sit and watch. Question number 12, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr Speaker.